In computer science, a priority queue is an abstract data type which is like a regular queue or stack data structure, but where additionally each element has a priority associated with it. In a priority queue, an element with high priority is served before an element with low priority. If two elements have the same priority, they are served according to their order in the queue. While priority queues are often implemented with heaps, they are conceptually distinct from heaps. A priority queue is an abstract concept like a list or a map, just as a list can be implemented with a linked list or an array. A priority queue can be implemented with a heap or a variety of other methods such as an unordered array. Operations a priority queue must at least support the following operations. Insert underscore with underscore priority. Add an element to the queue with an associated priority. Pull underscore highest underscore priority underscore element. Remove the element from the queue that has the highest priority and return it. This is also known as pop underscore element, get underscore maximum underscore element, or get underscore front underscore element. Some conventions reverse the order of priorities, considering lower values to be higher priority, so this may also be known as get underscore minimum underscore element, and is often referred to as get min in the literature. This may instead be specified as separate peak underscore it underscore highest underscore priority underscore element and delete underscore element functions, which can be combined to produce pull underscore highest underscore priority underscore element. In addition, peak, which returns the highest priority element but does not modify the queue, is very frequently implemented, and nearly always executes in no time. This operation and its so performance is crucial to many applications of priority queues. More advanced implementations may support more complicated operations, such as pull underscore lowest underscore priority underscore element. Inspecting the first few highest or lowest priority elements, clearing the queue, clearing subsets of the queue, performing a batch insert, merging two or more queues into one, incrementing priority of any element, etc. Similarity to queues one can imagine a priority queue as a modified queue, but when one would get the next element off the queue, the highest priority element is retrieved first. Stacks and queues may be modeled as particular kinds of priority queues. As a reminder, here is how stacks and queues behave. Stack elements are pulled in last in first out order. Queue elements are pulled in first in first out order. In a stack, the priority of each inserted element is monotonically increasing. Thus, the last element inserted is always the first retrieved. In a queue, the priority of each inserted element is monotonically decreasing, thus, the first element inserted is always the first retrieved. Implementation Naive implementations There are a variety of simple, usually inefficient, ways to implement a priority queue. They provide an analogy to help one understand what a priority queue is. For instance, one can keep all the elements in an unsorted list. Whenever the highest priority element is requested, search through all elements for the one with the highest priority. Insertion time, opal time due to search, usual implementation to improve performance, priority queues typically use a heap as their backbone, giving O performance for inserts and removals, and O to build initially. Variants of the basic heap data structure such as pairing heaps or Fibonacci heaps can provide better bounds for some operations. Alternatively, when a self-balancing binary search tree is used, insertion and removal also take O time. Although building trees from existing sequences of elements takes O time, this is typical where one might already have access to these data structures such as with third-party or standard libraries. From a computational complexity standpoint, priority queues are congruent to sorting algorithms. See the next section for how efficient sorting algorithms can create efficient priority queues. Specialized heaps There are several specialized heap data structures that either supply additional operations or outperform heap-based. 
implementations for specific types of keys, specifically integer keys. When the set of keys is 1, 2, C, and only insert, find min and extract min are needed. A bounded height priority queue can be constructed as an array of C linked lists plus a point atop, initially C. Inserting an item with key K appends the item to the K, TH, and updates top min, both in constant time. Extract min deletes and returns one item from the list with index top then increments top if needed until it again points to a non-empty list. This takes O time in the worst case. These queues are useful for sorting the vertices of a graph by their degree. For the set of keys 1, 2, C, A van E M D E Boas tree would support the minimum, maximum, insert, delete, search, extract min, extract max predecessor and successor operations in O time, but has a space cost for small queues of about O, where M is the number of bits in the priority value. The fusion tree algorithm by Fredman and Willard implements the minimum operation in O time and insert and extract min operations in time however it is stated by the author that our algorithms have theoretical interest only. The constant factors involved in the execution times preclude practicality. For applications that do many p operations for every extract min operation, the time complexity for peak actions can be reduced to O in all three and heap implementations by caching the highest priority element after every Insertion and removal. For insertion, this adds at most a constant cost, since the newly inserted element is compared only to the previously cached minimum element. For deletion, this at most adds an additional p cost, which is typically cheaper than the deletion cost. So overall time complexity is not significantly impacted. Monotone priority queues are specialized queues that are optimized for the case where no item is ever inserted that has a lower priority than any item previously extracted. This restriction is met by several practical applications of priority queues, equivalence of priority queues and sorting algorithms. Using a priority queue to sort the semantics of priority queues naturally suggest a sorting method. Insert all the elements to be sorted into a priority queue, and sequentially remove them. They will come out in sorted order. This is actually the procedure used by several sorting algorithms. Once the layer of abstraction provided by the priority queue is removed, this sorting method is equivalent to the following sorting algorithms. Using a sorting algorithm to make a priority queue A sorting algorithm can also be used to implement a priority queue. Specifically, Thorup says, we present a general deterministic linear space reduction from priority queues to sorting implying that if we can sort up to n keys in S time poor key, then there is a priority queue supporting delete and insert in O time and find min in constant time. That is, if there is a sorting algorithm which can sort in O time per key, where S is some function of n and word size. Then one can use the given procedure to create a priority queue where pulling the highest priority element is O time, and inserting new elements is O time. For example, if one has an O sort algorithm, one can create a priority queue with O pulling and O insertion. Libraries A priority queue is often considered to be a container data structure the standard template library, and the C++ 1998 standard, specifies priority underscore Q as one of the SDL container adapter class templates. However, it does not specify how two elements with same priority should be served, and indeed, common implementations will not return M according to their order in the queue. It implements a max priority queue, and has three parameters. A comparison object for sorting such as a functor, the underlying container for storing the data structures, and two iterators to the beginning and end of a sequence. Unlike actual SDL containers, it does not allow iteration of its elements. SDL also has utility functions for manipulating another random access container as a binary max heap. The boost also have an implementation in the library heap. 
Python's heap module implements a binary min heap on top of a list. Java's library contains a priority queue class which implements a min priority queue. Go's library contains a container heap module which implements a min heap on top of any compatible data structure. The standard PHP library extension contains the class Bull Priority Queue. Apple's core foundation framework contains a CF binary heap structure, which implements a min heap. Applications Bandwidth management priority queuing can be used to manage limited resources such as bandwidth on a transmission line from a network router. In the event of outgoing traffic queuing due to insufficient bandwidth, all other queues can be halted to send the traffic from the highest priority queue upon arrival. This ensures that the prioritized traffic is forwarded with the least delay and the least likelihood of being rejected due to a queue reaching its maximum capacity. All other traffic can be handled when the highest priority queue is empty. Another approach used is to send disproportionately more traffic from higher priority queues. Many modern protocols for local area networks also include the concept of priority queues at the media access control sublayer to ensure that high priority applications experience lower latency than other applications which can be served with best efforts service. Examples include IEEE 802.11 in ITUTG.hn. Usually a limitation is set to limit the bandwidth that traffic from the highest priority queue can take, in order to prevent high-priority packets from choking off all other traffic. This limit is usually never reached due to high-level control instances such as the Cisco Call Manager, which can be programmed to inhibit calls which would exceed the programmed bandwidth limit. Discrete event simulation and another use of a priority queue is to manage the events in a discrete event simulation. The events are added to the queue with their simulation time used as the priority. The execution of the simulation proceeds by repeatedly pulling the top of the queue and executing the event thereon. See also, scheduling, queuing theory Dijkstra's algorithm when the graph is stored in the form of a agency list or matrix. Priority queue can be used to extract minimum efficiently when implementing Dijkstra's algorithm, although one also needs the ability to alter the priority of a particular vertex in the priority queue efficiently. Huffman coding Huffman coding requires one to repeatedly obtain the two lowest frequency trees. A priority queue is one method of doing this. Best first search algorithms Best first search algorithms, like the asterisk search algorithm, find the shortest path between two vertices or nodes of a weighted graph trying out the most promising routes first. A priority queue is used to keep track of unexplored routes. The one for which the estimate of the total path length is smallest is given highest. Priority. If memory limitations make best first search impractical, variants like the SMA asterisk algorithm can be used instead, with a double-ended priority queue to allow removal of low-priority items. Rome triangulation algorithm The real-time optimally adapting meshes algorithm computes a dynamically changing triangulation of a terrain. It works by splitting triangles where more detail is needed and merging them where less detail is needed. The algorithm assigns each triangle in the terrain a priority, usually related to the error decrease if that triangle would be split. The algorithm uses two priority queues, one for triangles that can be split and another for triangles that can be merged. In each step the triangle from the split queue with the highest priority is split, or the triangle from the merge queue with the lowest priority is merged with its neighbors. Prime's algorithm for minimum spanning tree using min-heat priority queue in Prime's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree of a connected and undirected graph. One can achieve a good running time. This min-heat priority queue uses the min-heap data structure which supports operations such as insert, minimum, extract min, decrease key. In this implementation, the weight of the edges is used to decide the priority of the vertices. Lower the weight, higher the priority and higher the weight, lower the priority. 